Well, we're right here where this road comes into a food plot. <coughs> There's a lot of a lot of coyote tracks, a lot of coyote crap, and we're just gonna put in a uh, simple dirt hole set. <coughs> and I'm gonna walk you through it, show you how to do it. Right here we got my uh, trap bed dug, <coughs> about two or three inches deep, and we got just one dirt hole. Make it, and you want to make it pretty deep <coughs> so a coyote just can't come up to it and steal it. You guys have got to work for it. So. I'm gonna, this is a Duke number four, it's four coiled. I like using the four coil because um, it holds them good. And we got a uh, Wolfang Earth Anchor, it's a 12 inch one because I trap in a lot of hard ground and you really don't need no 18 inch one. Just make it harder when you're digging it up. So um, yeah, you just wanna make sure, go ahead and bed your trap. You just wanna make sure that you um, wanna get a good bed so it don't move because if a coyote comes up to it and it moves, Probably gonna leave your set because you know just there and um I like to bed my trap in peat moss so it won't freeze and it's just real soft and it won't get under your pan and keep it from going off. <coughs> it is your trap will still go off if some gets under your pan. And it's just regular peat moss that you can get at Walmart. Once you get it bedded good around the edges, you want to go ahead and take some of it and fill it in around your trap. So you cover it up so you ain't got to use a lot of the excess dirt that you use for um, when you dug your trap bed. You can use that to cover it up to blend it in. And you just want to make sure it's pretty even. You don't want no big lumps or nothing in it. Just make it look natural as possible. All right, once you get that bed, you just want to take your sifter and take some of the surrounding dirt that you bedded your trap bed in. Just sift it over. And then once I get it sifted, I like to smooth it out. Make it look as smooth as possible. And you can take some brush from the side and kind of use it to help funnel them in towards your trap. Just try not to make it look too unnatural, but you can use little twigs and stuff. You can just break it up. Mm -hmm. to it. Yeah. Right here on the edge of this uh, food pot, this guy's been coming and try to catch some of his coats. <coughs> They've been having a problem. They got like six on camera. I told him I'd come in and help them. So this right here is the basic. It's like a dirt hole, but I like doing a double dirt hole because it keeps them here longer, keeps them working your set longer. And I already got my trap bed made, my earth anchor drove in the ground, and I got my. <coughs> I already got my two dirt holes made. So. You just want to make sure that your trap's bedded real good, so it won't, it don't move, because if the coyote feels it, it'll leave your set. And once you get it bedded real good, you get your feet off. You just put it over your trap. You can fill it in around the draws where the draws are covered up real good. I like using peat moss too because it keeps it from freezing. But it also ain't real thick and it won't get under your pan. and keep your trap from going off. And you really can't put too much of it on your trap. And once you get that all good, put your dirt. in your sector. And what I like to do
do is just put a thin coat of dirt over it first. And smooth it out with your hand. Just barely where you can see your pan. And then go back over and cover it up good. And you can take the surrounding leaves and sticks and grass and stuff and kind of just help fill it in around it. But you don't want to make it too obvious that you're trying to funnel them in to a certain spot. Because if you get them working this set good enough, they'll work it. And that's again why I like using the double bait holes because it keeps them working your set longer. And just put a little more fresh dirt over it then. This right here is just hog meat with a coyote you can use about anything. Just don't use your gloves whenever you're grabbing your meat because on the more sets you make throughout the day you're soon to be on the trap and under the dirt and the coyote will smell it. And he'll try to dig up your trap. Now I just take my driver and stick it wadded up down that hole so the coyotes have to work harder for it. And then I got some lure this right here. Any kind of stinking lure will work, but I've had better luck with this Hallbackers. I think it's like five dollars maybe for them. get you a good stick. Or any kind of anything will work. Just get and don't put like what I'm doing is I'm putting more than two or three traps out around this field, so you don't want to use too much lure on one. Lay it behind your own um, your bait hole, and then what I else like to use is to top it off. It's just regular old coat pee that you can. I mean, you can order off of anywhere, and just spray a couple squirts on it if it smells real natural. And then once you're done. What I got found the edge of this field is you take this and kind of knock all your tracks away from it. And you can take these feathers and lay them out here for eye appeal, but it's windy. So, what you want to do is sit you some dirt over them to weigh them down so they won't blow away. And I like sitting the, ac the excess dirt I have away from it. it looks like something's been digging. And that's the final touch. Maybe we'll have a nice prime coat for in the morning. Where I had to say I made that double dirt hole yesterday. And uh, looks like we got a nice prime gray fox. And let's go up here and check him out. Hang on. We're out here <clears throat> this morning. We just got done duck hunting. So I got this paint all over my face. And the double dirt hole that I caught that gray fox in Friday. Let, didn't have nothing yesterday. And come back this morning. We got a nice coat in my reset that I made. And we'll get the single dirt hole this time. Again, baited with hog meat. Little with hog bakers and that little... Coyote myth, if you can get pretty much anywhere. No, that's all right. 